Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. I am with the legend. Do you recognize this person? He is the Nissan GTR engine production leader, best known for producing the most amazing engine in the world, and his name is Takumi Kurosawa. You would know him because he was the one who started the whole trend to do with Takumi engines or engine made for uh, Nissan GTR. He's retired now. He has his own business, um, consulting and working with other manufacturers or other people to advise on how to build the best engine in the world. Now, we're here in a restaurant, so I apologize for a bit of our sound, but I wanted to ask him the most important question that many of you guys asked about, which is how often to change the engine oil in your car. I did a short video on that, and there were so many comments and questions, because many of you guys said his advice, which is to change every 3,000 yes, miles. Yes, yes. Uh, every 3,000 miles is the best. You said that's not possible, because it costs too much money, it's too frequent. But he said, here's one way to look at it. If you need to, or if you want to keep the car for, let's say, 250,000 miles or 300,000 miles and beyond, he said you're going to follow his method because you will keep the engine clean, will make it keep on running it the best as possible, and you'll last even beyond that. So if you want to keep the car for a few hundred thousand miles, many more years to come, his advice is to change, buy the cheapest engine oil possible and change every 3,000 miles. But you don't have to change the oil filter, yes. right? So that is for one time and change. So engine uh, filter, oil filter, uh, once every two engine oil. So that would save you a little bit of money. Um, but that's the, at the top of the advice if you want to maximize durability and to keep the car for as long as possible. But of course, I asked him if you only want to keep the car for five or six or maybe even 10 years, up to maybe 100,000 miles, obviously it doesn't matter so much because you're going to sell the car. So in that case, you can increase it by you know 30% to 40% of the duration. It wouldn't matter too much because you're not keeping it anyway. So I think Takumi says that's why, and he's the person who's able to detect tiny, tiny microns difference in the engine build. And he said the reason why it's so important is that um, engine oil breaks down. The whole idea of engine oil is to take contaminants away and to protect the components. And so um, when you keep on using the engine, even if it's a short distance or not, uh, it will begin to wear out and the engine will degrade. So the engine oil will degrade. And he said, even if you don't drive that often, engine oil will break down through cont contamination and also because it's subject to air uh, and ex exposure to the environment will make it break down. So, you know, I know that many of you guys were complaining that that's just not practical to change that often, but it comes down to how long you want to keep the car for. If you want to keep it for 200, 300,000 miles, 10, 23 years down the road, buy the cheapest engine oil, he said, change every 3,000 miles, maybe a little bit longer, maybe 4,000 miles, maybe even okay, uh, and it will last you forever. Engine will last forever, change the oil filter every two engine oil, and that's gonna be fine. Uh, and then from there, you scale down or up. You know, you wanna keep a car for 500,000 miles, maybe you have to change a little bit more often, but if you only want to keep the car for 100,000 miles, maybe you can double that and only change five or 6,000 miles, and obviously, if you're only leasing a car for two two years or three years short lease, and you're going to return the car, who cares? Just follow the manufacturer's recommended oil, engine oil schedule, because it wouldn't matter too much, you're not keeping it anyway. So those are some of the things that Tommy Sun has told me. Anything else you want to add? I also asked him a few other questions, such as the type of engine oil, synthetic versus normal oil. And he said, really, engine oils are very good these days. You don't have to worry too much, but he recommends Castro as a brand. We're not sponsored by Castro, by the way. But he said they make, they make the best engine oil for the money. And he said it's more important to buy cheap engine oil and change more often than to buy expensive oil and change less often. So if you want to take the contaminants away from the uh, engine components and also to prevent degradation of engine oil. So he said he'd rather see you guys buy the cheapest oil, change every three to 4,000 miles than to buy the expensive oil and change less often. Uh, also he said, yes, synthetic oils are better than normal engine oils, but he said the difference is not as much as you think. 
especially if you're going to change more often anyway. But he'd rather see you do the cheaper, regular oil, change more often than to buy expensive oil like synthetic oil and change much less often. So I hope that's helpful to you guys. He said the filter doesn't matter too much. Just make sure that you're using something approved. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just use a cheap filter as well because you're going to start changing them every so often anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Um, and then finally, really his recommendation is that if you take care of the engine, by engine oil, then it will last a very, very long time. And so that means also changing the viscosity of the engine oil from season to season, depending on where you live in the world. If the climate change is pretty drastic from winter to summer, then you have to buy different engine oil viscosity as well. So he reminded us that uh, in terms of the viscosity of the engine oil, obviously you want to use thinner engine oil in the winter time and thicker engine oil in the summertime. Once again, that depends a lot on where you live and how much season affects the temperatures and so forth in your area. Um, but you want to make sure that you choose the right viscosity. For example, in summertime, you might use 10W, 10W40. So for example, in summertime, you might use 10W40, but in the wintertime, you might use 0W40, which is sold here in Japan, so that you have a thicker engine oil in summer, thinner engine oil in, in the wintertime, and you can adjust accordingly. And he said that's also very important to maintain and to have this long-term impact on the engine so that it lasts a long time. So those are some really good advice from Kurosawa-san. So First name is Takumi. We're good friends and we like to travel a little bit together now and then. And we plan to maybe go to the US as well uh, because he is the only true leader who understands Nissan GTR engine and how it's built. And he's teaching a lot of people now. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like, if you'd like to see and meet with uh, Takumi-san either here in Japan or back in Vancouver where we live uh, because he is just full of knowledge about how to grow people, how to cultivate the right environment, not just about the engine oil. So we want to really thank Takumi-san for being here, a friend of ours. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we'll thank meet you. again. Thank you.